664 days. The amount of time it took for this account to reach AR60. And all of this was done without ever wishing on a standard or limited event banner. In this video, I will once again showcase my account, see what has wow. changed, and how many Primal Jams do I currently Bruh. have. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking the video and subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot and it will be greatly appreciated. Starting off with the weapons, this time it is a bit different since we have more 3 stars. Well, not by a lot, but we still have a bit more. We have a few more options now. Notably, the Fading Twilight, which you get from one of the events. And I believe this is also a new one, the Kago Tsurube Ishin, which is a sword that you get from completing Kazuha's story quest. The three star weapons, we have the Messenger, Recurve Bow, White Tassel, Bullet Blade, Harbinger of Dawn, and I believe the Halberd, Traveler's Handy Sword, and Skyrider Great Sword are also new additions. The reason why I up these weapons, well, there really isn't a particular reason. I just do it because I have no additional resources to spend them, so I just upgrade them for fun. Artifacts wise, it's still the same. Every bit of artifact grind I go through is extra bit of Hey, there are some new artifacts which I will showcase later on when we go to the character but as you can see most of them are actually purple because I just don't use artifacts anymore I just stopped trying to grind for artifacts it has destroyed my brain several times already so I've just decided to take the L the character development items are still mostly the same you know just play through the game and you will eventually grind a good amount of them there really isn't much to say here pause the game if you want to have a detailed look on these and yes this time I will make sure to properly blur the Primal Jam count until the end. Last time, I screwed up and everyone exposed me for it. This time, I'm going to be really careful to cover the Primal Jam count. Once again, the food is pretty self-explanatory. It's really simple. I don't think much has changed since last time. We have the Adapter's Temptation for general attack, Book Card Platter for the physical damage, and since we do have Fischl, we were able to frog a few times of these. This is for the defense. This time is a bit different. Since last time, the 4 star defense dish I had increased shield strength but this is overall defense and I guess the healing food is the monster hash brown. In terms of materials once again this time we have a record number of 15 uh... catalyst billets which I will never use. I will never use this. Stop giving me catalyst billets. Every time I see this it just triggers me. Just stop. <laughs> but yeah, largely unchanged. Pause the game if you want to have a detailed look at this. Gadget wise, this time we might have a few more gadgets. Sometimes if I do remember, I'll use the parametric transformer, but most of the time, I forget. Okay. And that is completely fine. Just do it when you remember. Simple as that. And then we've got the Serenity Teapot, which I will go through later on in the video. And as for the quest items, it's largely the same. We do have some new items like from the Deluke event and probably something I don't even remember to be honest. And then we have these version 2.8 Golden Archipelago event items, which will disappear once Sumeru drops. As for the precious items, I do have a billet trove. Still have not yet to claim it, which, well, I'll claim it some other time. We do have a condensed resin, which I'll use tomorrow because today is Saturday, tomorrow is Sunday. I'll probably just use it on Mora Ley Lines because I don't really want to upgrade anything. We do have some furnishings that are just sitting there because I'm too lazy to open them. I've collected all Animoculars, Joculars, and Electroculars. The recipe is still the same old, same old. Not gonna claim it because too lazy. And we have 12 star glitter, which I'll explain how I get them later on in the video. 61 in the wine fates and 182 acquaint fates. And finally, we have 64 fragile resins and a good amount of dream solvents and the uh, dust of absorbs. And there is, of course, these spin crystals, which I will probably never use. And the furnishings are just here. Pause the game if you want to have a look. But otherwise, that should be it for the inventory. Alright, so here are the character showcase for each of the characters. We have Animo MC level 90. 53, 119, Energy Recharge 230, Festering Desire, Refine Rank 5, Poppy's River Descent, we have Flower, Feather, Energy Recharge, Animo, and Crit Rate. Constellation 6 and Talent 6, 12, 12. Ember, level 90, she's running a support build, 61 and 89, running Prototype Crescent, Refinement Rank 1, running 4-piece Noblesse, Flower, Feather, Attack, Hyro, and Crit Rate. Constellation 0 and Talent 1066. Kaya, level 90, 70, 134. Prototype Rancor, Reformer Rank 2. 2 piece Bloodstain, 2 piece Shimanelva. We have Flower, Feather, Attack, Physical, and Crit Rate. Constellation 0, Talent 1099. Lisa, level 90, 39, 143. Of Swan Eye, Reformer Rank 5. 4 piece Noblesse, 
You have Flower, Feather, Energy Recharge, Attack and Crit Damage. Constellation 0 and Talent 6106. Barbara running your typical healer build. Level 90. You know what, I'm, I'm not even gonna bother with this one. Prototype Ember, Reformer Rank 1. Four piece maiden, we have flower, feather, HP, HP, and healing bonus. Constellation 3 and Talon 1011. The reason why Barbara is at C3, you get the initial copy if you played the game during launch. You get another copy for Barbara for free in version 1.1. And I was able to get two extra Barbaras while rolling on the beginner banner. So hopefully this explains why Barbara is at C3 and not at C1. And Barbara's outfit is obtainable during the Golden Archipelago event in version 1.6. Xiangling level 90, 60, 151, running the catch, refinement rank 5. Four piece crimson, we have flower, feather, energy recharge, pyro, and crit rate. On station 0 and talent and 910. Noel level 90, 57, 130, we have white blind, refinement rank 2. Two piece gladiator, and the reason why it's two piece gladiator is because I really only use her for the shield. Didn't really bother upgrading her artifacts. We have flower, feather, defense, defense, and crit rate. Constellation zero, talent triple six. Fischl level 80, 67, 104, running fading twilight, refine rank five. Four piece noblesse. We have flower, feather, energy recharge, electro, and crit rate. Constellation 1 and Talent 61010. Fischl's outfit was available during the version 2.8 Golden Archipelago event. Xing Chiu, level 80, 63138. Running Harbinger of Dawn, Refinement Rank 1. Four Piece Noblesse, running Flower, Feather, Energy Recharge, Hydro, and Crit Rate. Constellation 1, Talent 61010. Yuna, level 80, we have the following stats Pavonius Wobble, Refinement Rank 1. 4 piece tennis city, we have flower, feather, HP, HP, and crit rate. Constellation 0, talent 299. Fatal level 81, we have 75 151. Running prototype RK, refinement rank 1. 2 piece noblesse, 2 piece gladiator, we have flower, feather, energy recharge, attack, and crit rate. Constellation 1 and talent 9, 10, 10. Alloy level 90, 44 149. Windbloom Old, Reformer Rank 5. Artifacts, we have 4 piece Blizzard, Flower, Feather, Attack, Pyro, and Crit Damage. Constellation 0 and Talent 6910. Chongyung, level 80, 68, 137. Luxurious Sea Lord, Reformer Rank 5. 2 piece Blizzard, 2 piece Emblem, we have Flower, Feather, Attack, Pyro, and Crit Rate. Constellation 0, Talent 6110. And last but not least, we have Sing Young level 80, 63, 126. We have Snow 2 Star Silver, Refine Rank 1. 2 piece Noblesse, 2 piece Bloodstain, Flower, Feather, Defense, Physical Damage, and Crit Rate. Constellation 0 and Talent 9, 9, 10. So as of right now, I have 630 achievements. The ones that I'm missing are mostly commission based, so there's nothing much I could do about it. I'm not claiming these because it allows me to get a specific number for a video. So for example, in the 200k Primal Jam video, I didn't use Photoshop to edit it. I actually wow. got it in game. Having these options available helps me to get the right numbers. So this time we have 13 out of 16 characters befriended. I will definitely be able to get more once Sumeru drops, mainly called Lei. But what happens afterwards? I have no idea. Who knows? Only time will tell. So for the commission one, this time I was able to get the Snatch Naya one. So we have these two achievements complete. But the Lyria one, I'm still working on it. Hence why my daily commissions are situated in Lyria. And I've just recently received this name card. It's the one that you need to farm the plants for about 200 days, I believe. It was a painful grind, but it is now over. So I will no longer be farming any plants in my Serenity teapot. And finally, we have the fishing one. Still haven't done 2000 fishes. I'll get it one day. Maybe? I don't know. Only time will tell. For the Serenity teapot, it is once again mostly empty. So we have the four try here for any of the crafting needs. We have this item which allows you to cook outside now. So I will put the item on screen. You can get it from Tabi, available in the version 2.8 Golden Archipelago event. And we do have the crafting table here for any of the crafting needs. And finally, I have the teleporter here just in case if people want to teleport. They have Tabi's friend. Is it Chabi? Yeah, Chabi. So we have Chabi literally right here, right next to the teleport spot. So it's just really convenient. And there is nothing 
furnishing in the house. Since we are now able to cook outside, there's no reason to have any other furnishings here. So as you can see right here, it's all empty. So for the battle pass, once again, I could get out to level 50. Just play the game every day, you eventually get it. And it's a lot easier to do it as well if you participate in the event. It's a lot of XP that you're just getting from this. And of course, if you do the Spiral Abyss, as you can see right here, a lot. And this screen, I just never use it because, well, I don't buy the battle pass. For the Spiral Abyss, I believe it's still the same. Just aim for 30 stars. And once we get the 30 stars, we are just the doodle and never to be seen again. So for the Spiral Abyss, I always try to go for 9993. So that's 30 stars. So as you can see in the challenge summary, I just try to go for 30 stars. Sometimes I'm able to get 6 stars on floor 12, mainly due to the Abyss being slightly easier. But most of the time, if I get 30, I'm pretty happy. And once again, we are at a stage of the video where I go into the wishing screen. As you can see on the huh? top right corner, it's almost version 3.0 and I still haven't clicked on it. Well, mainly because I don't wish on this account. There's no need for me to go there. But once again, for this video, I'm going to do it. So let's do it. And ladies and gentlemen, I currently have 243,202 Primal Gems, 61 Interwine Fates, and 182 Acquaint Fates. So as you can see in the character event wishes, you can see that there are no wishes whatsoever, none on any of the banners, but that's because it's in the last six months. But it should be pretty convincing based on the information provided in this video that this account would have never wished on the standard or limited event banner. I did wish on the beginner banner, but that's it. I haven't done anything else. So the blessing of the Velkin Moon, I have not used this. The elf, I mean, why would I buy this? And the two that you see here are the free ones that you get from their respective events. I have not bought any of these items. And the top outs, I still haven't used it. I mean, again, if someone does buy, I'm not going to use it. It's just going to sit at the top right corner as so the number does not affect the Primal Gem count. I guess 243,000 Primal Gems equals to... <laughs> 1520 in the wine fades and plus the 61 that I have right now so it's a total of 1581 in the wine fades I'm currently AR60 world level 8 so any additional XP just goes straight into my Mora bank which if I remember correctly it should be 76 million Mora and here's the character archive for anyone interested. All of these characters, even the exception of Noel, I was able to get without wishing. Or at least technically speaking, you could get a C0 version of it. But it's going to be a bit different since I did wish on the beginner banner. Things are a bit muddled up. But it is what it is. The spirit of the account where I don't wish on the standard or limited event banner still stays true. Because, well, you don't see any other characters. More importantly, there's no 5-star characters. There you go. An account that has never wished on the standard or limited event banner until AR60. Well, I wish, I don't know. Only time will tell. Perhaps I'm going for someone in Fontaine. Or maybe I'm waiting for the day Dane Sleeve gets released as a playable character. 300,000 Primal Gem video coming soon, maybe next year. So stay tuned for that. But otherwise, thanks for watching and see you guys next time.